welcome back to engineering nature i hope you will be happy and healthy in this covid time in the extension of ansys fluent tutorial today i had choose a particular topic based on uh, hydrodynamic cavitations the applications for that is particularly for wastewater treatment it's very simple uh, still effective way uh, to treat the wastewater where we have a hydrodynamic cavitator unit or there are called as hydrodynamic cavitator there are different possibilities of shape and design when the cavitation bubble will burst it will create a favorable situation for water treatment there are several possibilities uh, for the cavitator reactor uh, today i will demonstrate the reactor one of the reactor uh, which is uh, basically uh, proposed by um, Amdular and uh, the geometry is almost similar to that uh, cavitator reactor and we try to learn how can we uh, simulate the flow and we try to visualize the intensity of cavitation bubble with this particular geometry so let's start first you should open the ANSYS workbench in that ANSYS workbench you should drag the fluid flow fluent tool into the project schematic now uh, let's uh, create a geometry first for this cavitator reactor so for that you just right click on geometry options i will create geometry with the help of space claim options in the space claim first you need to define your plane i will create geometry on xy plane click on xy plane and just sketch you can start the sketch but before that let me uh, ensure the unit you can change the unit of sketching generally my geometry is in millimeter scale so i will change unit uh, from meter to millimeter it's already in millimeter so i just click on ok now in the sketch mode uh, you have to start with uh, line option you just click on line and with the help of uh, line sketching i will create entire geometry according to the dimensions i have 25 mm of inlet and the top surface of this cavitator reactor is of 30 300 mm long same outlet of 25 mm and there is a orifice or venturi kinds of sections which is uh, having certain slopes and dimensions you just refer the detail dimensions for that geometry detail i will post the detail of this geometry in the description box Since from this point we have to provide a slope although the slope is not given they have provided the dimensions of length of that inclined edge so at 25 mm we have an inclined edge uh, which is at a 15 mm of height so let me uh, define that 15 mm over here on the same way on other hand we have a 15 mm of height where this inclined edge can be connected the center portion is uh, there is a 2 mm of gap through which water will injected or it will accelerated and it will create a orifice kinds of effect so this is outer profile for this uh, uh, venturi kinds of uh, geometry now let me uh, delete uh, the additional edges with the trim away options so you just go to modified and trimming the unnecessary edges so just with that operation you can remove the unwanted edges so this is how uh, it's very simple approach through which you can create your geometry once you create your geometry you can switch over to the mesh sections where we will create a mesh for this particular geometry now you just double click on the mesh it will open the mesh sections in the mesh sections just click on the mesh right click on the mesh and insert the sizing options where you can customize the edges uh, you can customize the mesh size i will refine a uh, mesh uh, near to this orifice uh, passage so what i will do i will select this particular four edges and uh, apply that four edges with the element size uh, not element size but number of division let's say 100 division uh, just you keep hard behavior 
so it strictly divide with 100 division then uh, I will select other edges where I want to uh, provide a little bit coarser mesh relative to that one so I select three and uh, that three edges just I will provide element size of one millimeter now for inlet as well as outlet also I have to define uh, the uh, size options you select both by press control button you can select the multiple edges and here also I am uh, providing one millimeter of size once you provide the size you can actually uh, create uh, you can click on the generation of mesh it will give you it took little bit of time it will give you the mesh uh, which is look like this still I am not satisfied with this mesh so what I will do just I will uh, modify that I will give the face mesh option you just select entire face and give face mesh of one meter so it will refine the face still in this narrow passage I want to refine the mesh element so what I will do we have now 7000 or more elements so just let me edit uh, in the uh, age sizing options and let me double this number of division uh, so it will uh, refine that mesh element near to that orifice so after refinement options you have uh, this uh, mesh quality near to that narrow section still it's not satisfactory so what you can do you just uh, you have to convert this unstructured mesh element into structured way you can apply uh, or you can just map the entire mesh with the map options so once you apply that uh, it's, it's uh, uh, the final mesh which I had used for my simulation is like uh, look like this where uh, uh, we have very uh, uh, there is a almost 11,000 mesh element as well as there is a very good quality mesh near to that uh, small sections uh, see you can visit my previous tutorial where you can uh, uh, learn how to convert this unstructured mesh into structured mesh for two dimensional geometry as well as I had also uh, provided the boundary conditions for inlet as well as outlet once uh, your mesh is ready you just simply update the mesh and uh, you, uh, you can go uh, to the solution setups where uh, uh, we will have solved this problem with the help of fluent so in the fluent I will show you the case setup mechanism for the cavitation flow particularly with this reactor and uh, just uh, stay connected with this channel in the second part I will demonstrate the entire procedure for uh, the cavitation reactor uh, flow phenomena with the transient simulations so let me end with uh, this beautiful animation of this simulation which I will post in second part of this uh, uh, tutorial where we can clearly see in the cavitation bubbles so stay connected with this channel uh, thank you very much have a nice day